Whoa, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Before I start off the video, I just want to give a shout out to those of you guys who supported the channel by purchasing the decals. So Abdul Hanan and Nick, bro, shout out to you guys. I also, um, Franco's also been donating a lot to the channel, so shout out to you, my guy. He just like sporadically donates to the channel, so thank you so much for donating again. Really helps a lot. But yeah, guys, getting to the topic of this video, this car may actually hit the road for the first time today. You guys know me, I've been trying to get this car ready, presentable, at least to the point to where I can go get it smogged. It will not pass headlight and brake just yet, but we're gonna try to get it smogged. I have a few things I want to do. I probably may even throw in the bumper or at least put together the front end bumper, the LCI bumper. I don't know what we're going to be doing exactly today, but the goal is to go down the DMV. I don't know how long it's going to take, maybe even the whole damn day. Pay for registration, pay for taxes, all that stuff. Get the get everything I need and get my moving permits so I can go try to head, go smog. And if it fell smog, at least I know what's wrong with it. So I'll come back to you guys when I actually get back from the DMV because I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, and I'm not trying to record it in the DMV. I'm probably going to do some schoolwork. But yeah, I'll come back to you guys then. All right, guys, just got out of the DMV, paid 450. That's actually not bad. He's saying that's tags, registration, taxes, everything. For California, that's not bad. So paid that in full right now. And uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and try to see if we can go do smog um, right after I get some lunch with my boy Mohammed. All right, guys, so we just got back. Um, so basically, Paid my dues, paid everything I need to pay for this car. Now I'm actually thinking about, should I smog it right now? Should I assemble the bumper? I don't know. Regardless, I wanna do something today. I don't wanna waste my time. I wanna make a video. So I'm starting to think that taking it out for its first drive is probably my best idea. Let's just take it out for a drive, first time. Um, you know, fill it up with some gas and then, you know, take it on a smog and see what the problems are exactly, you know, so we can work on it and figure out the problems. All right, guys, so also I need a haircut, so we'll see what we're gonna do. Anyway, but for 335, let's just go ahead and go down and just get this bad boy ready for uh, smog. So let's go ahead and fill it up some gas, drive it around the corner, take it down to smog, hope for the best. Probably even vacuum the rear seats and just vacuum the car since I have the daily permit anyway. All right, starting it up. Oh boy, I should probably even put an airbag in here just, just so they don't give me any baloney for it. Starts up like a dream. Let's go ahead and back up this bad boy and then uh, let's get all the paperwork from the other car. Uh, I don't trust this airbag, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in there. Long story, this airbag, I don't trust it for the life of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in there. I'm not gonna even plug it in though. All right guys, airbag is in. Gonna go ahead and go to the trunk and grab all the things I need, all the documents that I need, just to go, uh, you know, just do what I need to do to get this thing on the road. First time legally driving it, technically. Super excited about this. Let's go ahead, get some gas in this bad boy, and go smart. Just like the street lights lit this town, like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down. Can't be afraid to leave this out. We got this far, don't know how. Guys, I think we are good to go. Let's head down and uh, get this thing smogged and see what, what comes up. Alright guys, we just made it back. I don't see any smoking. Everything looks good. Smog place is right here, so we're just going to give it a few minutes and then it's going to be our turn to go in. At this point, guys, we're just waiting on him to you know, check my car and then we'll open best. Obviously, it is a piece of work, but um, I have high hopes. All right, guys, so I got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is it failed, uh, but the good news is it's nothing major. Uh, so air injection system passed, computer sensors passed, everything says passed, but it's saying that the, the, the OBD, something to do with like a, a sensor, is uh, it's not ready. 
So I'm assuming that's because the car died recently. So that is no big deal. That is honestly, honestly really good news in my opinion. So the car was dead yesterday. I did jump it last night and uh, we drove it today. Now I know about this whole OBT system. I figured that, you know, maybe I'll get lucky in the drive here and be ready to go. Unfortunately it wasn't, but it does have free retakes. So he said that's the only issue is that your systems are not good to go, but everything else, engine seems to be fine, all the emissions, which means my cats are good. Um, intakes are fine, all that shit's fine. That's why you guys should get it from Burger Tuning or some company that actually has the carb stickers. It's really important to have carb stickers. And yeah, so pretty much that's that. I'm just gonna go out for a little bit of a drive while I have the daily permit. Try to put as much miles on this thing as possible. And then, uh, and then probably, not tomorrow, I'll come back on Saturday and uh, do the smog again. I'm gonna try to drive it a little bit tomorrow as well. So uh, yeah, guys, that's about that. I'm gonna go hit you guys up. Probably when I hit the gym, I'm gonna hit the gym before I get home. So all right, guys, we are back home. The car's in the garage, and I do see smoke, but it wasn't some crazy amount of smoke. It was, you know, just, just, it, it, it's, it's smoke, though. So what I'm starting to think is what BMW Fanatic said. He commented on one of my, uh, I don't know if it was my story or my video, and he told me that there's like this rail, a catch, kind of kind of like it catches oil or whatever on the side, not a catch can, but it sits on the side of the engine and uh, it pretty much catches the oil and pretty much it, it just it keeps burning and it throws off all the smoke. So I'm gonna look into his video and see how you can remove that um, and I, probably that will get rid of my smoking. But in the meantime guys, uh, I, I did, a lot of you guys commented saying the spark plugs that I bought were not the greatest, so I went ahead and purchased some other spark plugs. I mainly purchased it for my 330i, and they're better spark plugs. They're still Bosque, but like they're better, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and install it in this car, but not just yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it later tonight, mainly because the engine is warm still. But yeah, I gotta install the new spark plugs because I noticed that when I was driving and I was flooring it, sometimes uh, it just feels like it, it's bogging or something. I don't know how to explain it to you, but like, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace them all. I, it was meant for my 330i, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do to make sure this guy is in the healthiest condition as possible. And also in the meantime, this car has to pass headlight and brakes, so let's go ahead and replace the bulbs that need to be replaced. Now, stuff that I do know is that the front halo light is not working, one of them. And the other one, as you guys can see from the rear, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that light right there on the trunk is not working. I picked that up the other day, and I hope it's gonna work. We're gonna go ahead and install and see if it works. And just like that, tail lights are working, both of them are working, easy peasy, lemon breezy. So it should pass headline brake now, other than the, the rings in the front, one of the rings are out, so I might have to get uh, you know some new, probably gonna go with the white LED rings on this one. Might as well. Never did it on the 330i, but I might as well because I have to get the rings anyways now. Let me know what kind of brand I should go with that, but uh, anyways, I'll catch you guys back when uh, I get back from the gym so we can work on the spark plugs and some other things. All right, guys, just got back from the gym. Um, I actually also stopped by AutoZone to read the codes on the car because I like their scanner a whole lot better than mine, and it's free. So it turns out I have a misfire in cylinder one, and I also have a, an, an EVAP leak or something like that. It says it's a small leak, and as I was driving, it did say on the dash that my gas cap was loose. I went ahead, I um, untightened it and retightened it, and I mean, the gas light went away, but I don't know if the actual um, light, you know, through the OB2 has went away because in smog, if you have any EVAP code, any, you know, hose or anything like that, you know, cut or anything like that, if you have like an emission hose related uh, leak, you automatically fail smog. So let's go ahead and turn off the car. I mean, let's turn off the car in the garage and just open up that oil cap just to see if there's a lot of smoke coming out. Alrighty. Let's go ahead, turn this bad boy off. Take out my protein shake, close the cup holder, take my phone. But yeah, go ahead and twist this guy a little bit more. Alrighty, so that's how it looks. I don't see anything right now. Let's go ahead and put some light on it. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's really faint. So this was actually pretty much the same as uh, BMW Fanatics. Pretty much looks the same. Oil looks healthy, everything looks good. Oil temperature was on point the entire drive. It's actually below 250 the entire drive. So that just shows that the water pump's working, so that's a good sign. Don't worry, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that. But yeah, I'll cut back to you guys in a few hours so we can go ahead and start working on all these spark plugs. All right guys, so I think the engine's cool enough. Normally how I check if the whole engine bay is cool enough is when you open this. You hear like a sound if that's really hot. So obviously, it's not too hot, 
Um, I waited about an hour and about hour and a half. Uh, it should have been cool down. I mean, if I put my hand on it, it's warm, but nothing that I can't handle. So I'm hoping it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and replace all the spark plugs. And if that's not doesn't solve my misfire, I'm going to go ahead and replace that particular ignition coil because ignition coils typically run about $200 for all of them. So spending $30 to $40 on one ignition coil is, you know, a lot cheaper than spending $20 on replacing all of them. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Go ahead and set you guys down. Go ahead and open up this bad boy. And look how easy that is. I can literally just grab the engine cover, take this right on off. See if I can do this one-handed. Slide that out. Bam. Just like that. Ignition coils and spark plugs are exposed. You replace it super easy. Just like the street lights lit this time. Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down. Can't be afraid to Alright boys, your boys put in all new spark plugs. Old ones were garbage. They're all just literally all burnt up and just messed up. To be honest, the other day I've only replaced like a few of them. And I decided not to replace all of them because I was too excited. I just wanted to drive it. But this was what just comes to show that when you're being stupid and you don't replace everything when it needs to be replaced, things happen. So luckily, as soon as I got the misfire, I was close to home, turned off the car, and I started replacing all my spark plugs. But yo, guys. Do the job right the first time. Don't listen to me, I'm very stupid. I mean, this is the only thing you should listen to me about because it makes sense, you know. Do it right the first time. I'm gonna go ahead and put all these ignition coils back on, hoping that none of these are bad. And just like that, guys, look at that. Woo, I am done. This is what I love about it, is that once you're done with this stuff right here, the best part is literally going over to your engine cover, slapping it on, just literally just guide it in there. Try not to mess up in your hoses like me over here. Oh boy, got a few hoses back here. You should do this with two hands, so you know, you don't mess up anything. But um, yeah, pretty much just looks like that. I will have to straighten up just a little bit. But guys, look at that. And then I could just pretty much get in my car and get out of, you know, just get going. I'm telling you guys, and I know they sent me those, and I'm supposed to be reviewing them, and I already did, but I can't stress how good these, these cowl filters are. They get rid of all this garbage, and you can literally just work on your engine whenever you want. If you get a misfire as you're driving, pull over, read the codes. If it's a cylinder, go ahead, replace the spark plug, you're good to go. I mean, you don't have to remove all that garbage and stay on the side of the road with a lot of garbage on the side. You're literally good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car and uh, just see how it starts up. All right guys, moment of, uh, I just realized I have no keys. Be right back. All right guys, moment of truth. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start up the car for the first time after, you know, removing and cleaning off the uh, ignition coils and replacing the spark plugs. Just go ahead and take it around the block real quick and see if I feel any difference. FYI, those other spark plugs were terrible, terrible. I'm gonna do what Stradman does. Start up on a 2008 335i. Wow, that sounded really healthy compared to how it was. Uh, I'm not getting any bogging, anything like that. So let's go ahead and take it out for a spin right around the corner and see what happens. Guys, before I actually go off our drive, look at this, it's super funny. You can actually see the tail lights from the back of my car. I'm literally, you guys can see the seats right here. And back there are my tail lights, because I have literally my whole rear is gutted. All right guys, I'm not putting this in sport. I'm just gonna keep it in drive and let's just go for it. All right, that was flooring it. Felt pretty good. Try to hit this road. I swear if there's a cop here and I get pulled over, um, I better get trending one on YouTube because this is, I don't know what would happen if I get pulled over right now. All right guys, moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and gas. I'll throw it in sport too. Bam, now we're in sport. Let's go for it. Whoa, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys. I almost lost control of the car. Dude. Oh my god. All right, I'm putting you guys, well, I'm not doing any hard pulls, but you guys can hear, that sounds healthy to me. All right, that's a job well done, guys. I'll hit you guys up when I get home so I don't get pulled over. Oh my god, we are back home, guys. That was scary. I definitely need two hands from here on out for that. Oh my lord. This thing pulls so hard oh my lord guys i'm super super happy i'm gonna go ahead and close all these windows that we all fix guys thank you all so much for all the support honestly now i know guys this is far from finished this build has so much more 
I'm probably gonna end this series uh, once I actually fix the the body, you know, the quarter panels, because that's the end of that. I mean, the car will be fully repaired, other than I probably add one more series when I actually fix fix the audio system, get a new audio system going, or get it programmed. But I mean, yo, guys, we're almost finished. We've come so far. Um, there's now so much things to do. They got like literally so much aesthetics. We're doing full LCI conversion. I already got everything for it. Full LCI rear conversion, M Sport conversion. Probably even gonna wide body this. Why not? I mean, with um, hard motorsports wide body, if you guys want that or you guys wanna keep it race car, then we won't do that. It's all up to you guys. I just wanna say I love you guys so much. And I just read the codes. And the only code I'm getting is fuel pump plausibility. And that is great because everyone on the forum saying that's not that big of a deal. Guys, you've come so far. I honestly love you guys so much. I, when I got this car, everyone told me that I, it was the biggest mistake I've made. And guys, I've made mistakes. I, I purchased cars that literally were garbage, like the E46. I've made mistakes. But this one, I'm proud to say that it was no mistake. And I, I'm, I'm able to say that because of you guys. So I love you guys so much. I'm gonna go ahead and just start making some new decals for, you know, just a new trend. But hashtag save a BMW is always gonna be a thing because we've, we've, we've saved a BMW. And uh, guys, I'm so excited for what's coming next. You guys are not ready for it. You guys are not ready. I have the craziest rap ideas and I'm stepping up my game in rapping guys I'm stepping up my game if you guys thought the 330 I had a cool rap yeah you guys ain't ready you just you just aren't ready for this now enough talking nor shut up I know you guys all want to you know chill out and go watch another video um, so just remember to stay humble guys work hard as always because anybody's dreams can become a reality and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out she got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know, you're all.